Manchester City, a convincing win once again, this time over Norwich. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne with a couple of goals, his final stats for the season. Uh, 15 goals, 22 assists. Um, best player in the league, Stevie? Oh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, that was a very subtle try to set me up for that one, wasn't it? Huh? I'm sorry, I, I don't understand. Show when, well, yeah. When Seb was running around throwing stats at, that De Bruyne had this amount of goals and this amount of assists and Jordan Henderson, who, who won the sports right, has only had four goals and five assists. And if I, it's about goals, then it's dead simple. If you just want to stick to stats, then give it to the guy with the best stats. I, 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 Football's I, I, not I, always I, about what, stats. I, I just use Football's that as a about point. influence. I, I just asked you, if is he the best player no, in the you league? Never. That's, I just, no, I, you never. No, you never. Is he the best player in the now, league? That's, that's all the question you would, was. You would be in your usual... You would be in your usual smarty pants, try to set me up. Uh, uh, it's a, a genuine won, question. Is Kevin De Bruyne the greatest, award. Is he the best player in the league? That's all. Is he technically the best? Maybe, yes. Yes, that's quite a big thing, isn't it? See? See, see where you try to take this? I'm not trying to take it anywhere. Again. I'm just saying that he's... he's, he's yes, you are. He's clearly... Absolutely, you are. Clearly the best... Oh, listen. <laughs> I don't know why the bar... Why do we bother with the Ballon d'Or? We just give it to Messi every year for because he's the best player. No question. Technically, he's right. the best player in the world. Has been for a decade. Okay. So let's just give it to him uh, because technically he's the best player in the world. Right. Makes sense. That's the way it should be, shouldn't it? question? Yeah. Well, in your little world... Don, Don, where, 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 where do you stand on this? Best player in the Premier League, Kevin De Bruyne. I think he is. I think he is. I think he's, his numbers and his stats prove it. But I'm, as you know, I'm not really a stats man. I watch the game with my own eyes and I judge people on on their performances. And I don't see the, I don't see many players in Europe creating as many chances as he does. His technical ability, where he can find a pass, his range of pass from ten yards to forty yards. The amount of goals that he gets. I mean, to start of the season, me and me and Steve, Stevie have both played in midfield, and as mid, mid, midfield players, you set your targets as double double. You try and get double the amount of assists, sorry, double figures amount of assists and double figures amount of goals. So ten and ten. I mean, he's getting over well over ten assists um, and a ridiculous amount of goals at the same time. So it's like this guy's just playing on another level. Mm. I mean, the game today was always going to be five. I predicted a seven. I thought it was that type of game. But when you watch him and you watch how easy the game comes to him, left foot, right foot, his balance, everything comes into the equation. In my opinion, I think he's the best. But you still would have voted for Jordan Henderson? For the football writers, I would, because of what he does off the pitch. Liverpool would have still won the league without Jordan Henderson. But are you asking me football writers? Because if it's football writers, I would bring in Marcus Rashford. I would bring in Raheem Sterling. I would bring oh, okay. in Troy Deeney right. into the okay. conversation. So, so there's, so, there's only one winner. It's well, Jordan Henderson. So, so just explain why football writers is different to just footballer of the year. Well, I think they take that into consideration. I think the football of the year is the football of the year on performances. I think the, the sports writers take everything into the equation, what you've done on the pitch and what you've done off the pitch. <laughs> Stevie, when you won the Football Writers, what did you do off the pitch? <laughs> uh, well, I must admit, we did... The year I won it, we did win the Pool and Darts League uh, the very same year. So I had a very successful season off the pitch as well. <laughs> For all hey, your we're community great off the pitch work. That season, by the way. All the support of the local pub. Yeah. Uh, uh, meanwhile, yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, David Silva's final match in the Premier League as a Manchester City player. Um, it, it, he's an interesting one because everyone goes, oh, no one gives him the credit he deserves. But really, people do, I think. People within the game know how important he has been to Manchester City. But what I think makes him very special for someone who's never played the game, and even more for you guys, I'm sure, is the fact he just seems to make everything look so simple, Don. Yeah, and the fact, I think, if you ask any group of fans, because football is very tribal, I think they're honest, to, honest enough to recognise a genius at work. And he is that, and he seems humble as well. When you listen to his interviews, he doesn't do many. But you can imagine you know, him in that Man City dressing room, bringing the likes of Phil Foden and many others on as well. And the game, as you said, comes easy to him. Another player that's got great balance. He's got a great football brain. I don't think he's ever been the quickest or probably hasn't even got a trick. 
but he plays the right pass at the right time, the correct weight of pass. And when he plays the game, the game just looks a really easy game to play. Coach's dream, Stevie. Oh, absolutely. Coach's dream. But, you know, I think, I guess the biggest compliment you can give any player is when your fellow professionals stand on the field and look across the other side and you've got David Silva standing there and you're thinking, I wish he was on my team. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.